Good day everyone, I hope you are doing well, so uh, I just want to share this tutorial with you on how you are going to prepare a flash drive as a bootable device uh, for us to be able to uh, reformat the PC as one requirement of our subject. So first thing to do uh, we are going to um, prepare a flash drive uh, as a bootable by way of using a command prompt. One way is using a command prompt, then the other one is by using a third party software. But first, that we're going to do is using a command prompt. So Make sure that your flash drive is already inserted in your computer system. So looking at our uh, computer, so we have already here an inserted flash drive. So this is the flash drive inserted already in our computer system. Okay. So and also you have already uh, an image for your operating system so in here we have here uh, different images for IS, ISO images for uh, different versions of operating system so we will just select one here later on just after uh, we already prepared the flash drive as a bootable device so let's start First thing to do is we are going to open the command prompt by simply pressing on the Windows logo key of your keyboard then type for CMD then for us to run this as administrator you can just click this button run as administrator or you can press on your keyboard control shift enter okay any of the two can be done or you just right click then run as administrator Okay, so we already have here the command prompt running as admin. So the first command that we're going to run is this part. So this part will allow you to manage the disk present in your computer system, the partitions of the hard disk also together with its volumes. So let's try to run this by pressing enter key. Okay, you can see. Uh, we are already running this part in our computer system and then second thing or second uh, command that we're going to do is to list all the disks present in our computer system okay so if you have noticed I, um, we have three hard disks or disks running in our computer system we have this zero for us 500 GB this one as 500 GB also and then these two we have 2 GB so the flash drive is 2 GB okay so we are going to the third the third um, command that we're going to do is to select to select on the disk that we are going to use as a bootable so this time we are going to have the disk 2 disk 2 is our flash drive so that will be the one to be prepared so we need to select that by just simply running the command select disk 2 okay so that's it so uh, disk 2 has been selected already and then next thing to do we are going to clean it but just a warning if you're, if you're going to run this make sure that you already back uh, back up all your files in your flash drive because this 
clean command will delete all the data on your drive this will mark also all the data on your drives as deleted and therefore removes all partitions and its volumes on the selected disk okay so we are ready to clean this to clean it yes run okay succeeded in cleaning the disk then the next thing to do is we are going to create now a new partition okay so we are going to create a new partition by simply running this command create partition primary okay so create partition primary we'll just uh, run this by simply pressing enter key in our keyboard so we are we have succeeded in creating a new partition and set it as primary okay so just after creating a new partition we will be selecting that partition we have created by simply running this command okay so we will be selecting partition select partition okay one so since we already we only created a primary partition okay so we will be selecting uh, the partition one select partition one then press enter to run okay for now we just have selected partition one okay as our active then okay so we need to format this format this partition by simply running this command format file system is equal to ntfs sorry select or format file system is equal to ntfs new file new uh, format file system ntfs then we should be selecting quick so that uh, the formatting process is quicker okay so that's the syntax format file system is equal to ntfs fat32 if we will be selecting fat32 okay then don't forget to include the quick keyword then run okay if you notice 0% completed and then we'll just wait that the uh, formatting is 100% okay that's it so ready successful we have successfully formatted the volume and then the last thing to do we are going to set this as active okay set natin yan as active then press enter and we are ready we are ready to put uh, or we are re ready to extract the, the, the content of our operating system uh, as an image into this flash drive okay so we are going to exit now this one exit and then proceed now proceed now to your operating system ready as an image okay so we have here for example windows 7 and then you're going to extract this we'll be extracting this immediately okay extract and then select now the, the disk that we have prepared so we will be selecting this one usb drive f then just click ok okay so i cannot do this for this time because uh, our flash drive is just uh, 2 gb and what we need is of course we need to have we need to have at least uh, 4 gb okay so for you later on you need to have at least 4 gb in order for you to uh, prepare in order for you to successfully extract whatever the content of your operating system ready for uh, booting in um, a computer system that needs to have uh, that needs to be reformatted okay so again extract then select the drive that we have prepared and then click ok so just after clicking ok 
So that's it. It is yeah, it is already it's already uh it's already uh ex the extraction process is already started. Then just wait until the extraction process is complete. Will be complete. Okay, so we'll just cancel this. Okay. And that's it. The the second thing to do the second way around in order for us to prepare uh, a flash dive as bottable, this is quicker and easier because we will be using a third party software. Okay, so we will be using a third party software. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll be using Rufus okay as our third party software. So this is the official site. Okay, so just search for the third party software or Rufus and then click this one for us to be able to see some uh, <coughs> up, uh, updates. Okay, so, so we have here, we have here, we'll just look for the, la the, the latest version. The latest version is we have this one 3.13 let's click on this okay and then it will be downloaded okay so we'll just look for our downloads okay so we'll just browse for our downloads okay so it is already downloaded in the program let's see compress is it compress no we'll just see programs okay so we have here okay rufus no so we'll just run this we'll just run this one okay here it is no so here is the interface of the Rufus. So if you notice, if you notice the drive that has the, the, the flash drive you, you inserted is already uh, it's already <coughs> detected automatically by the Rufus uh, application. Then after that, what we need to do here is we are going to select we are going to select the the image or the ISO image. ISO file of our operating system. So just click on the select button. Then after that, browse for the the operating system you pre you you have you have or you prepared. Okay, that's whatever available you have. So we'll be uh, browsing for that. Okay, browse nothing. Operating systems, and then Windows 7 for example. Then uh, please take note that this is an ISO image. Okay, just click open. Yeah, so um, file system is NTFS. Okay, and then of course we'll be selecting here. Okay, the uh, the partition scheme. Then after that we're going to click start. Okay, just click start. Okay, so if you notice. Um, just like what I've said earlier, the the content of our ISO image is bigger with that of our flash drive. So make sure that, again, uh, for you to do this, you must have at least 4 GB flash drive in order for you to burn or to uh, prepare this flash drive as a bootable for any operating system like Windows 7, Windows 8. Windows 10 or whatever you have Windows Server okay so just just after clicking start it will start the extraction process the preparation process as bootable okay then you will just notice here that uh, you have already uh, done successfully just click close and uh, hooray viola you have already um prepared or yeah you have already prepared your flash drive as a bootable device okay so that's all for now i hope 
that you have you learned something for this uh, preparation of a flash drive as a bottle by simply doing two ways either um, the command from or either uh, a third party software that the last one actually is um, extraction mainly from the Microsoft Microsoft um, website okay so uh, that's all and thank you hope you learn a lot have a good day